Okay, one thing you'll see in this project is that I have my cat in here. So this is a, a good way to see how it's set up. In the original class, we did a sketch with our original project. And here there's actual cat imported as just line work. And you can see I set it up on the orthographic views. So if I turn off all objects by hitting Shift O, you can see just my splines left. And you can see my cat is sitting back there. So this project was also created using Corona originally. So we will need to change all the materials to V-Ray. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to walk through how we change some of the materials. And I'm also going to, we're going to light this scene in a cool way. Maybe use some HDRIs. And I think this will be a really good example for you to look at as you're getting more advanced, as you figured out the modeling part. Now we can really concentrate on doing some nice lightings, uh, some nice lighting setups, some nice compositions, and some nice materials for the scene to make it look really good. Let's start by first putting in a physical camera. We go to the create panel, camera, standard, or V-Ray. You'll remember that the V-Ray camera is now gone. There's just a V-Ray dome camera, which is not what we want. So we actually want to go to standard and go to physical. And you'll see that when I put a camera in, my old V-Ray cameras are already here because this is an old project, like I said. Let's just delete those because those are now a legacy item. There's no longer V-Ray cameras. So if you import them from an old scene, they will still work, but you can no longer create new ones. So moving forward, it's probably best to just use the physical camera. So there's our physical camera. Let's get it set up properly by using our camera tools down here in the bottom right. These might look a little different depending on what version you're using, but the locations will be the same and the names will be the same. So we're trucking the camera, just like panning. The hand actually doesn't pan. Well, it does pan in the cinematography sense. See how we're panning the camera? But panning in cinematography means something different than panning with inside of a viewport normally like this. That's panning. But in a camera setting, that's not what it is. Panning is panning your camera like that. Okay, so that's it gets a little confusing. But trucking is actually where you can just move the camera like this. So sorry if that's a little confusing, but if you do the right, the middle mouse button, hold it down, you can still pan, like if you were in the orthographic mute, pan. But when you're in camera, that's actually not doing the pan command for the camera. That's actually doing the truck camera command. I don't know why they set it up that way. It's not my fault, don't blame me. But they're using cin cinematography terms down here. But what we think of is panning in a viewport is a little bit different. So anyway, truck camera does this, and so does middle mouse button. Panning your camera is looking around like so. Okay, so let's get that camera where we want it, maybe somewhere there. And then we can do the orbit camera by holding down on pan camera and going up to there. I like to hold down shift so the camera stays in line. Otherwise, you can go wherever like that. If you hold down shift, it'll stay in line. And then let's pan the camera this way, or truck the camera, I should say. This one will dolly the camera back and forth. So I think we actually want to be up here and then just right click right here where it says physical camera, select the camera. And then we can change the focal length, which is basically just zooming in and zooming out. We're all pretty familiar with that, I think. Now let's pan the camera to the right. I think something like that's pretty nice. Now you'll notice that with the focal length of 31, you get it's pretty skewed. Like this looks a lot taller than that over there. The more you dolly the camera out and then you zoom in, so a longer focal length. 60 millimeters now. Now there's way less distortion, you see, but everything's kind of flattened out. So we don't really want that. We get a more dynamic view by being in close and zooming out with the camera a little bit. I might go over here and then pan the camera a little bit more to the right. Something like that. If I turn off all my lines, we've got this. It looks pretty nice already. Really, that's just showing us basic colors, basic previews of the materials. So there we go, we've got a camera set up. 
let's start working on lighting and materials.